I'm Rebecca Black from the newsletter and this is a sneak preview of a special supplement that we will be run about the Apprentice Boys of Derry. Next year will be their 300th anniversary and we have been given access to the Memorial Hall in London Derry to see their plans for their new building and their new heritage centre which they are going to be building next year. William Moore, who is the General Secretary of the Apprentice Boys, has given us a tour of the Memorial Hall and shown us all around, including the newly discovered cannons, which were hidden inside the walls. In our supplement, I'll be revealing all about what those cannons were, and we'll be trying to get to the bottom of who put them there and why. These are the walls of Derry where the Apprentice Boys every year stage their annual parade around. Part of the tradition of the Apprentice Boys Association is that the eight parent clubs who meet in the Apprentice Boys Memorial Hall early in the morning of the Relief of London Derry Parade will, will leave the meeting rooms within the, the hall and parade the full circumference of the walls of the city. This is done in commemoration of those up to 10,000 people that perished inside the walls during the period of the Great Siege. So this, this walk of the walls is a commemoration event which commemorates the death uh, of those up to 10,000 people. Many of those that died inside the walls uh, would have died through famine and disease and fever rather than from the actual conflict. But the Apprentice Boys commemorate that event annually on the second Saturday in August, which is the relief of London Derry Parade. And there's also the closing of the gates as well. Well, we don't walk the circumference of the walls now at the closing of the gates uh, commemoration event, but we still we still continue with tradition by, uh, as we do in August, by attending the Thanksgiving service in St. Columns Cathedral. Now, obviously, St. Columns Cathedral was used by the defenders during the period of the siege as a place, again, a place of refuge and a, a place to go and seek uh, assistance and help from God for the, the deliverance of the city. So we still retain that and in August the Thanksgiving service is dedicated towards the relief of the city. Uh, our main parades on both of these occasions, both the relief of London Derry parade and the shutting of the gates parade, are held within the walls of the city and we believe it's right and proper to fully commemorate the events of the siege and the actions of the defenders, then those parades have to take place on the walls or inside the walls of the, of the city. And this year you've received £3 million funding between the Heritage Lottery Fund and also Peace 3 funding. So is this a new era for the Apprentice Boys? Well, yes, we've received uh, £3 million of funding. £3 million is made up of 2.2 from Peace 3, which is Special European Programmes Body, and £800,000 from the Northern Ireland Tourist Board. That makes up the £3 million. Uh, we have also uh, received funding from the Heritage Lottery Fund of just over £600,000 for, for events that we will be uh, engaging and embarking upon uh, hopefully very, very soon now in, the, in 2013. So it's a very exciting period. It's, it's certainly a very inspiring period and a very motivating period for all Apprentice Boys because we do hope and trust that by 2014, which is the 300th anniversary of the formation of the Apprentice Boys, by 2014 we will have a brand new heritage centre, something that we can be proud of, something that will relate and convey uh, the story of the Siege of Londonderry, the development of our association, and something that we hope will create a much better understanding of the culture, the traditions and the history that the Apprentice Boys Association commemorates.